Hi, I'm writing a game engine from scratch. I spent the last few weeks adding a smoke simulation. I'm using the smoke simulation for the small puffs when blasters impact the train, damage trails on the spaceships, smoke trails from the missiles, and smoke from the missile explosions. Let's take a closer look at a single missile trail and explosion. And again, in slow motion, with the lighting removed. Before I get into the details, I just want to point out that this is not a particle-based system. I use two one-channel floating-point textures. If I remove the smoke persistence, we can clearly see the smoke emitters that write into the smoke texture every frame. You notice the randomness of the trail emitter. That's useful to approximate the chaotic nature of smoke. Here we can see the emitters painting into the smoke texture. I'm not spreading the smoke or decaying it so it stays static. The next step is to render the smoke to a second, smaller texture and back again. This spreads the smoke out, and we can add a decay factor at the same time. As the smoke spreads out, it loses detail and blurs. To keep the detail sharp and make the spread more chaotic, I apply random noise to the spread direction and to the wind factor as well. I've exaggerated the wind noise here so you can clearly see its effect. The wind noise texture is sampled based on the world space location of the pixel. These are the noise textures I'm using to offset the sample locations. One limitation of this technique is that the smoke simulation has to be restricted to a specific area in world space. However, this area can follow the player, and in most cases they won't notice. Another limitation is that because this is a 2D effect, smoke emitters need to be kept near the smoke plane. There are two things I'd like to improve in the future. The first is that the lighting on the smoke is a bit flat. In real life, denser central areas are much less lit than outside unobscured areas. I'd need to generate some sort of directional density map with a compute shader. Second is that I'd like objects passing through the smoke to disturb it, pushing it with a bit of local wind.